So I started on my day a little bit slower than normal. I wanted to take the time because I typically feel like, especially on Mondays, I am just running around like a chicken with my head cut off, but I wanted to take time, actually get ready and have like a slower morning today. And that's exactly what I did. I got ready for the day and then got Harley, took her out for a nice long walk and just generally enjoyed my morning. I feel like now it's late in the semester, but it's still time to think about building a morning routine that makes me feel good and that starts my day off on a good and positive note. So official welcome to today's vlog. I just got back from the park with Harley and now I have to head to campus real quick. Uh, if this is your first time stopping by, I'm Georgia Kay. I am a second year history PhD student at Brown University and I film day in my life, week in my life content, just lifestyle content about my life as a PhD student. Uh, the plan for today is that it's actually a chill day. I don't have that much to do. I have to go to my TA section and then I don't have class today. I usually do have class, but my class was actually canceled. So it's actually a lighter day and I'm going to be taking you guys along for the next few days of my life um so so yeah let's head to campus I just got done with my TA class and now I am doing some revisions on this article that I've been working on for the semester and I'm hoping that I can finish revisions by maybe around Thanksgiving so that I can sort of get more feedback on it so I can do further revisions but I'm pretty much done for the day like I had my TA class I had a meeting and now I'm just waiting to go home once I get all this like editing done but It is the next day now and I am all ready because I am going to a meeting and then I have an event on campus with Jennifer Morgan, which I'm very, very excited about. Uh, I did not vlog all morning. It is officially like, what, almost three o'clock now because I had the worst cramps I've ever experienced in my entire life today. And so I spent the entire morning laying in bed, like literally did not get out of bed until like an hour ago. I mean, I basically got up to take Harley out and that was it for my day so I took some ibuprofen and I'm feeling much better now um and I'm gonna try to pull myself together to go to class well no to go to campus and to get the things that I wanted to do today off my to-do list even though I am not feeling my best and I fully fully wanted to just keep staying in bed today but I don't want to miss this event because I read her book Reckoning with Slavery and it was so good so I definitely want to go see her talk about it um but yeah I just wanted to be honest I basically gave up on vlogging this morning because I was not feeling well but let's go to campus I stepped outside and it's 60 degrees so I for sure did not need this huge jacket but it is too late for me to go back inside and take it off so that's fun. day and I went to the Jennifer Morgan event last night with a huge group of people and it was actually so fun. Um, I love learning about new methodologies and history which is mostly what she talked about. It was a full room of historians, art historians, and people from different fields and it was just a really generative conversation um, but I got home I was really tired and I essentially got home to Carly at pee and then went to sleep. Um, it is now the next day, so I am all dressed for TAing. I'm about to go TA two sections, and I dressed up kind of cute today. I'm getting observed by my professor, so that's just pretty nerve-wracking. Um, I don't think it's a really big deal. I think it's just going to be a feedback thing, but I am an anxious person, so of course I am anxious about this. Um, but I'll show you guys my outfit. I picked out something kind of cute put together so that I'll have a little bit more confidence for today. 
Okay, so this is the outfit that I'm wearing. Um, these jeans, I think I'm from Target, and this shirt is from Zara. And then this I actually thrifted a while back, and so I don't know where it's from, but I like it because it's actually 60 today, and as I mentioned yesterday, I think, I wore a huge jacket, and that was a mistake because it was pretty warm. So today I was like, no, I'm gonna wear a light cardigan moment. And yeah, it's a cute outfit. <laughs> It is absolutely freezing today. It is 30 degrees. I am on my way to campus. I'm currently waiting on the bus. It is bright. The sun is like in my eye. But I have a meeting with one of the professors that I TA for and then I think I'm going to pick up my books which I have been meaning to do for the past couple of days but honestly it was being very lazy so I need to stop by the rock, pick those, book up, pick those books up because I have a historiography paper to write and so I got some books um, on interlibrary loans so I need to go grab those and then I think I'm just going to head back here because I'm just like not feeling being outside today so I'm going to do my meeting, grab my books and then head right back home. And then I think I might try to just hammer out some of my paper because we're getting so close to Thanksgiving that I'm like, I don't really need to get all of it done. I just need to at least have started it. So So I just got back home, don't mind, I have my washer going right now, but I wanted to tell you guys what books I ended up getting from the library. So the historiography paper that I'm working on is actually about black women and reproduction largely, but also sort of black women's diasporic experiences. And I have a lot more books than these, but these are the books that I couldn't find online for some reason. So I just got them physically because I typically do read the majority of my books online just because I personally find it easier to annotate that way and to have sort of like everything slaved in the cloud so that I can search it and it's like text searchable as opposed to physical books and I know that's like blasphemy coming from a history PhD student but I just find that it works better um but I would say the books that I'm not gonna like talk too much because I honestly haven't read most of these there's a few that I've read but um Laboring Women by Jennifer Morgan I've read bits and pieces of this and I think it's a really good book and I'm excited to reread it for the purposes of this assignment No Bond But The Law was a recommendation from my professor so I'm excited to get into this one as well and enterprising women this one i have seen really good reviews from i have not read it but i have heard good things and so the cover is also really beautiful so i am excited to get into this one and then the last one that i have is lose your mother by saida hartman and i have not like i've literally heard everyone and their mom 
talk about this book how i've gone this long without actually reading it is insane i am just like how did i get this long but anyways this one is probably one that i'm gonna start with first because this is also on my fields list and so i feel like i'm gonna have to keep rereading this so i might as well get a head start on it right now okay so that's it thank you guys for hanging out with me this week i hope you enjoyed it